Hello, my name is Bruno, and in this video, I will be going over how to breathe properly when playing the horn. So, breathing is something horn players do very often, <laughs> and there's a certain masterful, masterful skill to it um, that a lot of horn players may achieve. Um, breathing is, as, you, as you're probably thinking in your head, probably just It's not quite that when it comes to playing music. When I think of breathing, um, breathing tends to whatever piece you may be playing. So the type of breath you might take before entering would depend on what you're about to enter on, whether it be a sforzando or a pianissimo or probably something really high range or something low range. Um, or maybe you're coming in on an opening of a Beethoven piece, or maybe it's an opening of a, let's say, Brahms piece. Uh, <laughs> um, really, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be different because how how you breathe would affect how you play the note that's about to come up and whatever notes follow after. Uh, so breathing is very very important in horn playing. So. When breathing, in general, I like to think of opening your airway, just really, really filling the lungs up with a singular breath. So just kind of like, if you could hear it, kind of like that. Kind of let the air just kind of travel in and fill up the area up there and all around. <laughs> Just kind of feel feel it push down your um, intestines down because when your lungs expand, they push down all these other organs and stuff. So just kind of feel that happening. Um, now, one one way of breathing is thinking of it as cold air. Um, just when you breathe, try to imagine you're taking in cold air. Uh, one way that helped me imagine this is having a tennis ball in the back of your throat. Um, so just kind of just kind of taking a deep, couple deep breaths and hopefully you can feel and imagine there's just an opening in the back of your throat and you can just feel all this cold air just kind of coming in and feel it dry up just kind of dry up your throat it's a it's a pretty odd feeling could be a bad feeling uh but really you'll get used to it after you play you might cough a bit um <laughs> after breathing like this but it's really an effective way of breathing and when you do it make sure you fill everything up make sure you fill everything up and then just do that whenever you start a piece or start playing your horn and soon you'll just get into the habit of breathing like that and it would really help it really helped to start breathing like that. Um, another exercise to help visualize this is um, putting your, taking your hand, putting your knuckle, putting your finger, index finger up, and putting your knuckle against your lips here, just kind of in the middle. And then just kind of taking that breath in. Just a quick, Kind of like that breath and make sure you're making the noise. So don't, you don't want to go, you don't want any of that. You don't want no noise when doing that. You want to make, you want to make a good noise when doing that. So you might not get that immediately because it might take time to learn how to do that. So you just want to practice that. You could always do that in your free time. Just taking this breath. And then that's that that really helped you visualize how to properly breathe when playing the horn um but yeah that that's how i would breathe in most cases um sometimes i might take in slower breaths or i might take in a quick intake like like that um you know you never know it could just depend on the piece um i usually take slower breaths on slower fast air, um, well, slower, cold air when I'm trying to play high range. And then I'd probably...
water in there. Let me empty that real quick. Remember, um, to empty your water, you always want to uh, take out the main tuning slides and just flip them upside down with your horn upside down. Um, I didn't get anything there, so I will just be rotating my horn around and hopefully the one will come out via the bell. There. There we go. There we go. All right. Sweet. There we go. All right. So yeah, that's how I would usually take my breaths. Um, high range, low range. Uh, it could depend. Um, whatever you feel is comfortable for you. Um, whatever, whichever type of breath works best when playing high range or low range. Uh, usually, um, it depends on the piece. Um, I've been told to take in breaths differently uh, for the same note, so you never know. Um, so, yeah, just try to imagine that when breathing. Um, always, always try to take the the most full, full lung filling breath you can of good and healthy air when you start a piece. Always, when you start a piece, always take a big breath in, and always make sure you empty all your air before the piece. You don't want you don't want to have bad or old air and end up taking in new air and that old air is just taking up space. And soon enough you're not producing a good sound. Because a lot a lot of good sound comes from solely from taking a good breath. From good air. So yeah. Um when playing a piece, um when playing something, so you would take the initial big breath in If you ever find that you run out of air in the middle of playing something, the best way is to just take a just a quick breath in, just kind of a not a sip. Uh, never take sips. Sips are usually um, affiliated when you're kind of full on air, but you're still taking breaths. It's it's something you don't want to do. You don't you don't want to take breaths when you're already full on air. So don't make sure not to be as like sips, but just imagine you're taking that big breath but on just kind of a faster and shorter scale. So that's that's how you usually play when you're in the middle of playing something. Always make sure you also try to um, when you're playing with a section, try to stagger your breathing. So don't try to breathe at the same time. If you're, especially if you're holding a note out, like if you're in unison and just holding a note, you you don't want to take a breath all in, a, like let's say on a bar line. You don't want to do that, and it just and then there's just this silence of the horns just disappearing for like a good half to a second. Um, <laughs> it'd be it'd be pretty awkward. Um, but there are breath marks which would usually be, as you see, a V or a comma. That that's when you would want to breathe. If if a composer or somebody tells you to breathe there, uh, that's where you guys would want to breathe. Um, yeah, and then other than that, try to stagger your breathing. Take full short breaths when in the middle of a piece, and always make sure you t empty all your air when starting a piece. And taking a big breath and try to time the breath with the piece because you don't want to. And then just hold it because then you're just it, the air is going bad it's not it's not gonna do very well so always make sure you breathe in and play immediately uh, and always try to when you breathe always try to have the mouthpiece there already you, you want to get in the habit of already having the mouthpiece set play and then play right after you breathe so uh, yeah that that I'd say is the basis on breathing um, breathing is a very important part of horn playing very important always make sure you don't try to play as long as you can without a breath sure it might be a bit flashy people are like well how'd you hold that for a song but really it doesn't sound good it in the end it 
it starts to fade off. The sound becomes a bit raspy, a bit airy, a bit, you know, you can't hit notes when you don't take a breath. So even if you want to show off, I'd recommend not to, <laughs> to always just take in the breath and take in that breath if you need it. Um, sometimes it might be hard to find a spot, but that's all right. You could always like um, cut off a bit of the note beforehand um, to take a breath. Uh, but yeah, I just really recommend taking breaths as much, I wouldn't say as much as you can, but uh, as much as you feel like whenever you need to. Um, sometimes more than you may need to. Uh, usually actually more than you may need to, you would want to take a breath. So yeah, uh, that'd be my video on breathing. Um, that'll be, that's all I'm going to go over because breathing's a very important thing, um, which you should bring up with your teacher if you have one or look up other ways to breathe um so yeah it really take you a long way to learn how to breathe correctly and to use that air correctly and how to breathe and when to breathe and all that other stuff breathing is a big big part of horn playing so i'd really recommend you get that stuff down